Thank you. It's giving little Dirk. Staring hard as fuck and then not to be. This Olipop is weak as shit. Get me a motherfucking Verner's. It's not no fake, dumbass. <laughs> Oh child, y'all, this is an emergency, okay? It is currently like 10.22 and we're getting ready to go to the strip club with me. Well, this is the beginning to the vlog. Um, I'm gonna do TikTok style, like, get ready to go to the strip club with me during the busiest week in the state and I'm not working, like... But yeah, um, I'm gonna start the stripper vlog off today. So it's actually Wednesday night. I've been trying to film a bunch of other content this week and I'm gonna be honest y'all, I have been so tired. I've been just like tired, exhausted. And you know what? I wanted to, I'm gonna make a separate video. You guys will probably see that video before this one, but I'm burnt out. Like. I feel like I'm burnt out and I've been thinking about this a lot. I'm just like, why do I feel like this? Like, I feel motivated. I feel excited. I feel happy to be doing things, you know? I'm burnt out from my day job. Okay? So, hear me out. Um, I'm gonna, do I have a clip so I can stop touching my hair? I have a bad habit of touching my hair and, like, my face and stuff. You guys can't tell. I'm burnt out. Like, I tried to work at a club and they were on some bullshit and that was just like for me truly i was just like i do not need this i don't need this shit i don't need this shit and you know i am just trying to make things work with what i have like what my current resources like i work a full-time job i have other things that i'm doing outside of dancing and like making money and stuff one of those being youtube like i love doing youtube it's so fun to me so that's something that I want to prioritize and it's like dancing as much as I enjoy doing it I enjoy the money and I enjoy I enjoy how um quickly you can get money and not have to put as much time in if that makes sense like that aspect of dancing I really enjoy but my ultimate goal in life is to go to law school you know and in order to do that, I just need to apply myself a little bit more, like in the sense of I need to get my application together, you know, and it is very time consuming. It's very time consuming. So that getting ready for school and then dancing along with my day job. So here's where the burnout thing comes in. I think I'm just burnt out for my day job because as much as I love my job like i love where i work i love my coworkers. i have no complaints about where i work i just don't feel like that's a priority to me right now like i don't feel like moving up in my at my work or i know it sounds so terrible but like or even doing a good job like i couldn't care less about my performance sometimes because it's not really that's not really what i want to be doing so i feel like because it's not something I feel like I'm excelling in or I have aspirations to do better in and excel in. Coupled with the fact that I'm there for eight hours a day, every day, you know, I'm spending a majority, a majority, a large majority of my time at my day job that I am not overly interested in. I'm not over, I'm not interested in moving up positions. I'm not and to me, that's what work is. That's what makes work fun. That's what makes work worth doing. If I feel like I want to do a good job and continuously learn and continuously do things, I don't feel like that at my current job. And the fact that I spend so much time there just kills me because that's time I could be studying for school. That's time I could be doing YouTube content. Like, it just sucks that, that I have to stay for financial security. Like, that part of it really does suck. And I admire those who have quit the nine to five in order to do what they love. Like I have the utmost respect for anybody who has done something like that because it's hard. I, it's so hard to go from a very predictable, stable income to something that's more or less unpredictable. You don't really know. So for those reasons, I think this week I was just feeling really burnt out. Like I was trying to make content. I was going to work. I was studying. Like I was just trying to do my general health things. 
Um, I just got really tired and I literally slept all day. I got back from Pilates last night. Knocked out butt naked, y'all. Knocked out butt naked. <laughs> and woke up confused as fuck. So, like, I just decided dancing right now is not a priority to me. I love making the dancing content, but actually going to work is not a priority to me right now. Only because there's, I want to do other stuff. There's just so much more stuff that I want to do. And I know you guys really do like the stripper content. And I like, like I said before, I like making it. It's just like, I don't want to feel pressured to have to do it in order to, in order to sustain a viewership, you know? And I wouldn't be mad if y'all were like, well, that's not the content I want to see. So I'm gonna go. I'm not mad at that. That's fine. All I'm saying is that, uh, I don't know where I'm really going with this. I just feel like I wanted to tell you guys because I've been thinking about it a lot. Like, I'm just experiencing the beginning stages of burnout, so I'm trying to mitigate that and catch it early on because I have a problem where I let myself burn out and extinguish. Like, bitch is gone. The bitch is gone. Like, blue is nowhere to be found. So I'm trying to circumvent that by not, like, you know, I, I have a lot of toxic traits too, and I think that's one of them. Like, one of my toxic traits is that I swear I have no problems. I swear I'm okay all the time when I'm not. So I want to fix that about myself and I'm not going to do that anymore. So I was feeling burnt out. I wasn't really going to stress about work. I'm just going to work my regular schedule. I might work an extra Sunday um, or actually a, an extra Thursday. So tomorrow I might work tomorrow. But yeah, I hope that made sense. I smoked a little bit because I've been... Oh my god, y'all, today was like really, really, really mentally tough because I worked all day and then I had to meet up with faculty at my school and there's just so much going on right now. Um, there's just so much going on in the city, so traffic was a bitch. I was there until 6. I was on campus until 6. Mind you, I work at 8 a.m. So I'm tired as fuck, but... I ended up studying a little bit, but by this time I was like done. I went to go study with my homegirl at a little cafe. So that was actually really fun and I'm glad I did that. I got out the house and then I went to the strip club to blow off some steam. So today's gonna be vlogging, going as a customer. But yes, I wanted to talk about my burnout and my stripper vlog because it's definitely going to be a topic that I talk about when I do my study break because I really want to talk about it. There's a lot that I want to talk. I need to update you guys so much on my school journey. I mean, like it's going good and everything, but I just really want to talk about burnout because burnout happens to such a large population of our generation. And, um, and for me, like I was looking up how frequently this happened because low key, I burn out kind of frequently, but I think it's because I like really work myself and like especially with this school stuff i feel like i've been slacking so i've been putting in twice the work so <sighs> as in i feel like i was slacking prior to like my youtube start like i was a very different person before i got over my depression i was just a very different person so I'm happy to be where I'm at now, and I'd rather have this kind of burnout than the kind of burnout that I was having before where I, like, deny the fact that I was burning out and just completely shut down. So, it's good that I'm recognizing it, and I'm just kind of taking it easy. So, I'm actually really glad that I'm doing this. Especially burnout. And why I think it's important for me to talk about on, on these types of vlogs, too. It's okay to feel burnt out. That's totally normal. Don't beat yourself up over it. It's okay. It's totally normal. But how you handle your burnout is inevitably, like, it's going to be more important than you actually burning out. Because we all reach that point some at, in some time. Whether yours is before or after somebody else's depends. But if you're going to be like me in the past where you work yourself so hard until you can't do anything for, like, weeks or months or even years, how is that going to help anybody? You know what I'm saying? So take it from somebody that's been there. You don't want to be there, okay? Kind of eat down without lashes. But also, guys, y'all need to be patient with me too because I'm still learning how to do content. Okay, now that might kind of sound weird too. 
but I'm not really that big on social media. Like, I was just talking about this with my homegirl from my hometown. Me and my homegirls, like, we're all very private people. So it's actually super crazy that I do YouTube because although I'm the craziest out of my friends, we're all still very reserved and very private people. Like, it's just wild to me that I do this. Like, I still really can't believe it, but here I am sharing my deepest, darkest secrets with YouTube. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm not really, I've never really been huge on social media. So, like, Facebook, I was never on MySpace. Like, I'm not big on, I've never been on, really big on Instagram. The only social media that I, like, regularly use would have to be Twitter. Like, I'm, I'm on Twitter, okay? But everything else, like... Mm -mm. Alright guys, what the fuck do I wear? I'm gonna bring you in my closet, but I'm not gonna show you around because y'all gonna y'all gonna judge me. <laughs> it's gonna be that one me that's like y'all live like this. Yes. Yeah, I kind of want to go with a skirt look, but I I wish I had more cute like black tops. Like I could wear this. I think I might wear where my turtleneck at. I might wear a turtleneck. Black turtleneck with a black pleated skirt with o Rick Owens. Could be kind of cute. I feel like I would need a hat though. But look at this hat. Cute, right? Perhaps with some sunglasses. Oh, this might be it. Tacky. Couldn't find my all black sunglasses. So, turtle sunglasses is gonna have to be because I love wearing sunglasses in the club. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> okay. So, top is just some random top I, I thrifted. Um, purse is obviously Telfeezy. Um, cargo pants and rakes. And the Ricks. Let's see. Should I smoke? Should I smoke? It is $140 to work here tonight. Sorry, I'm not about to be stressed out like that. I'm not about to be stressed out in these ways. So, I'm good. I might work tomorrow here, though. I'm so obsessed um, with this water bottle. Which one do you want? That one? Okay. 
Hey, wait. Oh. <laughs> wait. Here. Oh. We got a couple packages to open up. So, gifts. What is this? Train surf chill. So, me and my friends are the type of people that Christmas gifts don't have an expiration date. If it's March, I'm gonna still accept a Christmas gift. <laughs> Ooh. What is that? Like sweats? Comfy pants? Mm -hmm. These are like comfy dream kits. Oh, they're joggers. Ooh. These are getting worn the fuck out of. Thank you, Izzy. I have been wanting to try this brand though. She's been trying to put me on, but I'll definitely have to try. Hey, Karen, because I picked it up already. I don't know, medium might have been too big. What is this? I don't know. This looks really official. Certified nail. Ooh, cute. The bottoms are gonna be big. I'll give you guys a sneak peek. But yeah, this photo shoot's gonna be fun. I'm gonna book the studio right now. Um, she said to have two outfits, but girl, I don't have that many outfits, so we're gonna have to see. Every time I come up on here, I feel like I look a hot mess. Um, I've been having a really bad hair day since yesterday, so don't mind me. But I have some errands to run. I said I would give these outfits away, and I meant that, like... Anything, anything for my subscribers, anything for my besties. So I'm going to send that out either today or tomorrow. Um, I told them I'll do it on Monday. But I was just like exhausted. Monday and Tuesday, I couldn't do shit. Okay. And then yesterday I went out. Like it was just kind of crazy. But um, yeah, I'm going to get this stuff sent out. I'm going to make like, I'm going to put the addresses on here so I don't forget which is which. Hold on. Yeah, here's the one outfit. This just does not fit me very well. And then these are the two that I was talking about in my vlog. Um, I honestly think I'm going to go through my closet sometime, like pretty frequently, because I buy a lot of outfits, and give some away. So be on the lookout for that. Okay, so now that that's out the, or out the way, um, I think I'm gonna take my dog to go run around a little bit because I have been neglecting him a little bit. So I'm gonna go do that and I think I'll have time to drop these off at the post office. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs>
my toe is like extremely broken. Like my toe nail has been broken for so long. It's like sharp, dangerous. Look. Also, my legs are really hairy, so like, ignore that. But.
Okay, so the photo shoot went super well. Homegirl really swallowed. Like, she didn't eat. She swallowed that shit. Okay? So, I'm really excited for her to edit it. So, that's actually my roommate's co-worker. And she's done a couple photo shoots for my roommate. And I see how they turned out. And I was like, alright, she be doing her damn thing. So, I was like, let me go ahead and book Homegirl. Especially because... Okay. This is no shade. This is really no shade to the photographers, but male photographers not only do like stripper photo shoots and I don't know, it rubs me the wrong way. Like I kind of get it. I get it because like entertainers and dancers and stuff have a very specific, you know, they have a very specific way they want to be their likeness to be interpreted and stuff. So that I get. But I don't know. It just doesn't sit right with me. You can y'all can tell me if I if I'm being a little like crazy, but that's just how I personally feel about it. So yeah. But we about to get some kava. About to get some kava. Y'all know I love kava. Well, you don't know that, but I've been obsessed with kava. I love Middle Eastern food. Like in my hometown, Middle Eastern food really like I don't know. Middle Eastern food anywhere else just doesn't compare. But kava is pretty good because it's like Chipotle style, so I can pick what I want to eat. So we about to go in there. I'm gonna do a little bit of work. Um like work work. Um yeah, don't come for me. But well this is some work work and then you know how in my other video I said that I would give away some of my outfits that I don't wear? So um, a couple of my subscribers actually did hit me up, so I'm sending those out today. I know I, was, I said I would do it earlier in the week, but this is the first day that I felt okay to do other things. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. My hair did not really hold up because I was getting sweaty. Look at this. Look at this. Man, I just hate when my hair gets, like, curly in the front. Like, it could literally get kind of curly anywhere else, but why you gotta be curly in the front? You know? But whatevs, whatevs. Let me go in here and eat. I'm getting really hungry, so I'll see y'all inside. Ugh. Okay, I'm tired. I get tired, and I hate these kinds of straws like so bad. some work to do to finish and I have to do that really quick and then I will be a little bit more available to do other things so I'm gonna do that but yeah the photo show was really fun like she was really good so I'm excited to see how they actually turn out but I came to Kava I've been craving Kava ever since I got my wisdom teeth removed so this shit better buzz shit better buzz they kind of skimmed me on chicken though. I was like, I don't know. That's not looking like enough. That's not looking like enough, but whatever. I got like half, I love the saffron rice. I got half saffron rice. Yeah, there's not a lot of chicken in here. And let's um, go over here. <laughs> I like vlogging while I eat because it feels like I'm talking to somebody. <laughs> um, but, the city is full. Um, there's, I don't want to be outside today, but I have to work, so that's kind of sad. There's so many people here in town. It's crazy, y'all. Like, it's so crazy. I low key do feel like I missed out by not working all week, but whatever. I'm at Kava. It's like Mediterranean food, but it's like Chipotle. Alright, hey y'all. I have been renewed. 
I had to take me a little nap because, oh, child, I was tired. I ended up taking the dogs to um, go play a little bit because I'm going to be out tonight. And, yeah, um, I, w I knocked out all of us. Knocked the fuck out. Uh, so I'm on my way to work right now. I'm going a little bit early today for the simple fact that it's about to be crazy. Everyone's talking about how crazy it's going to be tonight. And... I'm not ready. So I'm going to get there a little bit earlier. Hopefully, like, this is enough time. But I guess we're going to see. Um, I don't know. My hair is not, like, I think I didn't dry out enough when I blew it out this morning. But we'll try again. The photos came out so cute. Well, I'm excited to see them. But... We're we going to work with it. We work in Super Bowl weekend. I don't know shit about sports, but I know one thing's for sure. Y'all better come with some bread. Period. Okay, Asho, come here. Hello? Honestly, y'all, I'm going to have to go and give me a Red Bull because I'm starting to get tired. Bro, people really are acting a fucking fool in the city this weekend. Like, I want to be inside. When I tell y'all I don't want to be out here, I mean that. Like, I would much rather be at home. I am excited to work. I'm here super early, guys. Look at my pinky. Like, it looks a lot better than it did before, but I think my nail tech can work with this. But yeah. Um, I think there's going to be a shit ton of girls tonight, though. I'm going to sneak my Owala. This is officially my emotional support water bottle. So, I'm going to be sneaking this into the venue. Oh, also, I know I talked about this low-key a lot, but like... Y'all should go follow me on Instagram. Look at this cute photo I just posted. But yeah, I be looking good as shit sometimes. Like, I need to stop saying I don't like being in front of the camera because Loki, when I'm in front of the camera, I be like, eh, popping my shit, popping my shit. Um, so yeah, that put me in a good mood. But I'm in work mode now, honestly. So I went to the club as a customer on uh, Wednesday. And this whole week has just been super popping, like super popping because there's a golf tournament happening and Super Bowl, it's just like a lot. So if you know, you know like what state I'm in. That's why I'm just like not gonna say it because if you know, you know, this everybody is in the city this weekend. Like my this city is a city to be in this weekend. So there's a lot going on. And there was about 70 bitches. 70 girls dancing and people were like why didn't you work why didn't you work and now it's just like girl this is too much like even if i worked 140 dollars to work with like 70 or 80 girls the probability of making a bag is just slim i mean like i would have made some money but shit i'm not trying to do all that so do y'all go into the strip club as customers and you dance with them but they want to act brand new trying to be nice to me now Interesting. Interesting. I'm gonna see what's going on. I mean, the parking lot is like pretty. The parking lot looks pretty good for what time it is. What time is it? It's like 10. It's like 10. I'm a little bit earlier than I normally am. Also, going to the strip club as a customer was so valuable to me because I realized that. <sighs> oh, sorry. I know I need to stop touching my face. Somebody told me, like, stop touching your face, but. Uh, tell me y'all shippers are lazy as fuck I'm sorry but the main purpose of being a stripper or the purpose of me paying a stripper cause I was also throwing money don't get it twisted like I was throwing money too the main reason people want to go see strippers or go to the strip club in general is because it's entertaining don't nobody want to sit there and watch bitches argue about money or fucking complain or beg or whatever i'm sorry like i see way too many girls coming on to 
Social media talking about, oh, uh, everybody broke, everybody broke. Like, maybe you're just lazy. I don't know. Like, when I'm in a section and I'm, when I'm working, I'm working, y'all. Like, y'all see me sweating. I'm working. So, like, I don't know. The whole, like, everybody's broke and nobody has money. The section most definitely have money. Like, most definitely have money. And I literally was like, these strippers are fucking lazy. I was like, why am I dancing more than the motherfucking strippers that are working right now? What the fuck? I might as well go cock in. Fuck going on? But, yeah, I'm gonna just say, like, that kind of gave me a new perspective on on like that because when i'm working obviously i'm not really paying attention to everybody else but when i was paying attention yesterday or um, on wednesday i was just like hmm interesting that one i raised emoji like oh so this watch i'll be on um and security will actually do shit about the girls like being roaches so yeah i can't stand a roach ass bitch Anywho, let me stop babbling. I could I could babble with you guys for hours. But we're about to go in there and see what's happening. Oh, guys, before I go, look at this cute little... <laughs> look how tiny that shit is. Look, compared to my hand. Tiny, tiny ass. This is all they had, and I had to buy it because, one, it's cute. Like, this shit doesn't even look real. It's cute, and I cannot stand using the other pole grip. The other pole grip, I don't like, because y'all know I'm a sweaty girl. I just perspray a lot. And I don't know why, but it just, I don't like the way it feels on my hands. It just sticks in a pole weird. So I'm back to my true origins, which is dry hands. I want to get bigger bottles of these, but... Yeah. Uh, like I said, though, oops, let me get in there before I... So getting distracted. Okay. Okay. That's all content. House fees ready to go. Let's go make some money, y'all. Let's go. And I know these Um, I tried on like the regular these. Those are size nine. It's too big. And she was like, well, those run small, so like if I want to size up, I'm a size seven actually. So I am a size eight. So I'm like, yes, I'm, I'm a size eight in these shoes. I kept on reiterating, that's a size. I'm a size eight in these shoes. And she was like, well, they run small, so you know, if they're too tight in the front and as a nine, you can put a blow dryer to that. And I was like, I know. I'm telling you, you're good. I was like, I'm telling you, I know. Girl. I was like, yeah, I've been through a couple, a couple of these shoes.
Let me see again. Girl, hold on. You're gonna tell your, your dead homie what you want to say right now. I hope you fucking choke on your grandma's dick, bitch. Period. Period. <laughs> okay. And that's on that. All right. Peace out. <laughs> Starbucks, waiting for my motherfucking order. I forgot that I didn't take this off. Um, I'm about to go get my nails done because look, I had to take them off because that shit was not cute. It wasn't cute. All right, so I got my little coffee. Hey, Y'all know I'm feeling nice. So, recap of last night. Last night was all right. Like, yeah. Honestly, it wasn't all that. Like, you would think that because it is a Super Bowl, it would be a little bit more popping, but it really wasn't. And there was just a lot going on. So, I don't really like, I don't like those kinds of nights. <laughs> but there's a lot, there's people fighting, like customers fighting and shit. Yeah, when I'm working, no. When I'm a customer, yeah, I, I want to see all the drama. But when I'm working, no. <laughs> um, Loki slept in a little bit. I don't even know if I'm going to go to work today tonight because last night was just very whatever but saturday is always a little bit better i forget that today yesterday was friday night saturday is always a little bit better bruh this traffic is just insane i've never i realized i never really watched the what i eat in a week video because i don't tend to watch those kinds of videos i don't know i just cook what i like to cook so i never i guess i never really thought to look it up on youtube but I tried to film one. Sorry, I'm like kind of stuffy. I don't know what, if my allergies are acting up, but I don't know if I tried to film one, but I don't know if I did it right. So I'm gonna actually watch some like what I eat in a week videos. I don't know. Maybe I'll ask my nail tech to put it on YouTube because sometimes she has YouTube up, so she'll let me pick what to watch. <laughs> Maybe I'll ask her to put one of those on because I never watch it. Maybe I should watch it because I feel like the reason why I like making vlogs is because I watch I watch so many other of like so many vlogs I watch so many vlogs so it's easy for me to like imagine what kind of content I want what kind of vlogs I want you know like ever since I started making YouTube videos now I feel like I consume content with more of a critical eye so it kind of makes it hard to enjoy content you know what I'm saying so now, I, I always love commentary channels, but for a moment, I stopped watching commentary in replace of vlogs, because I love watching vlogs. Like, I love all the vlog girlies. So, I stopped watching commentary, but now that I, every time I watch a vlog, I'm just like taking notes. It's just hard to consume it leisurely now. So, I haven't been gravitating towards watching too many vlogs. Like, I'll still watch the vlogs that I watch all the time. Like, if a Diamond if Diamond Ice posts a video, I'm watching that shit expeditiously. No matter, if I'm at work, I'm watching that shit. <laughs> or um, Sierra Cherie official, if she posts, I'm watching that shit. But other ones, some of them I just like, I don't know. But that's not shade, that's no shade to any of the creators. I still watch vlogs. Don't get me wrong, I still watch vlogs and I thoroughly enjoy them. It's just now I look at them with more of a critical eye. So I've been watching a lot of commentary and like um, mental health or mental wellness or wellness videos in general. I've been watching more of that kind of content for leisure to learn something just because I don't make that kind of content at the moment. But yeah, anyway, let me stop rambling. I tried to make the video. I don't know if I did it right. I'm gonna still try. I'm gonna still try with the stuff that I have, but I don't know, yeah. Let me get on with this drive. I still have a long way to go, Loki. That Starbucks trip took a long time. Okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna fuck my shit up real quick. Okay, so bye. All that traffic is for the Super Bowl. Like, bruh, I don't even know how I'm gonna get home. Like everybody, Super Bowl open, like, bruh, that is OD. That's crazy as fuck. That shit better die down by the time I go home. That's all I know. Shit. You already know the struggle. I think I'm gonna start exchanging my big bills out for, uh, exchanging my ones out for big bills. I think it's time to say goodbye to the ones era and be a big bills early because I'm trying to downsize on my, well, I do want to get a bigger purse because I want to be able to put my 
camera in it, but I don't know. Right now, I'm, rock I'm rocking with a Lulu pouch, and look how fat it looks. I can't even fit my car key in there. Y'all, please don't judge me. I gotta talk about it real quick because I'm a, I, I ate this and I'm gonna take a nap and go to sleep. But Taco Bell, count your motherfucking days. Whoever made this taco is so disrespectful. Let me show y'all. Bro, don't piss me off, bro. This shit, first of all, I like looked in the bag to see if they put my sauce in there, this whole shit rolled out, okay? So, this shit is just raw dogging, touching all the shit in there, outside of the paper, and I pick it up, I'm like, oh shit, all this stuff on the inside is gonna come out. What stuff on the inside? What stuff on the inside? Like, count your weight, count your weight. Whoever prepared my shit, yo mom's a hoe. I'm not even about to eat that. Like, that shit is just so disrespectful. You literally gave me a Dorito. Fuck you. Anyway, here are the nails. Just wash my hands. The way my nail girl eats, she devours. She swallows. She motherfucking python swallows that shit. Okay? And you know what? It's affordable. I don't care what y'all have to say. Some nail techs would charge $120, $150 for these nails because they're all gems, all fingers gems. I paid $95 and I tipped her. Are you shitting me? Okay, I'm going to go to sleep now. I'm taking a nap because I am going to take my lazy ass to work today. So we're going to nap now. Okay, I look a goddamn mess. I just, I was running around and stuff today. I stopped vlogging yesterday because I started to feel really sick, like just under the weather. So, I came home and passed out. <laughs> like, like, I went out to run some errands. I had to go grab us some water. Um, You know how, you know the vibes. Let's try this Olipop. Olipop, yeah. I'm gonna try this. It's supposed to be like a healthier. I think this is supposed to be Sprite flavored. They had Coke flavor too, but I'm gonna try the Sprite. Um, and I got this as well. It's a little wellness shot. Cause I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, but I wanted to vlog and tell you guys that. Um, so I didn't work last night. I know people are gonna be like, "You're so fucking dumb." It's the Super Bowl. You didn't work. I wasn't feeling good. I'm not somebody that works when I don't feel good, okay? Like, point blank period, I don't work when I don't feel good. But, okay, let me actually eat. I'm gonna sit down and eat and talk to you guys. Okay, I look a mess, but yeah. So, I was driving to Whole Foods and one of my friends um, 
hits me up that I happen to know from the club. And he was like, one time I did do like a private, um, I don't normally do like private parties or private bookings or anything. But this one time my homegirl was like, um, this guy that I know is doing this private event. Do you want to come make some extra money? Mind you, it was really slow in the club this day, so I said yes. So I said yes. And yeah, I made a good little money, a lot, of, a little money in like an hour. So it was like totally worth it for me. And he hit me up and he was like, oh, like we're gonna do it again. But he's like talking about some, I don't have that many like stripper friends and I don't have friends in general. Um, and I especially do not have a stripper friends. It's just hard. He's like, do you have any other girls I could work? And I'm like, mm. mind you, this, he wants this in like a couple hours. And I'm just like, I might not be able to swing that because it's a really short notice, like dog. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell him, I'll be like, well, my one friend that could do it is not available. So sorry. Also, this Olipop is weak as shit. This Olipop is weak as shit. Get me a motherfucking Verner's. Yeah, get me a Verner's or a ginger ale. Cause, nah. Y'all trying to be cute with this Olipop bullshit? Nah, give me the GMO, give me the sugar. I don't give a fuck, this shit is ass. Like I'ma drink it cause I paid $3 for one fucking can, but y'all can't, y'all got this one. Y'all got this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I'm doing this right now. Like, <sighs> I was just saying how I was excited about doing nothing today. Just because I was feeling a bit under the weather. But money calls. It's not my answer. <laughs> ah. Hopefully it's not too crazy though. Hopefully it's not too crazy and hopefully I can just come home. It's Super Bowl day and everybody else is out making money. Y'all, one thing I want to talk about is mansion parties and like these motherfucking promoters that swear there's gonna be money in the house, that swear everybody making a bag, whatever. If you have to pay, if you have to pay a crazy amount of money to work at the events, it's a scam, do not go, okay? I guess there was like a mansion party out here that um, the promoter scammed the girls, didn't even book the Airbnb for Super Bowl. And that's foul. Like, I hope everybody stays safe out here because that's super foul. Like, so yeah, just be aware of these scammers out here. Like, people are really prey on people that are trying to make a living. And nine out of ten, like eight out of ten times, people who promise this kind of thing are scammers. Like, I don't know, that's a big reason of why I don't do a lot of like private parties or mansion parties or anything like that. Just because I know that they be scamming, like they be scamming people. So just beware. I can't believe that happened out here. Like it's 2023 and y'all are still scamming people like that. Like, please. It's like fucking get a life. So yeah, I don't really do private bookings or private parties or anything like that just because it's not my scene. I feel like it's a little dangerous, you know? You never know what's gonna happen. And at least at a club, like there's security and it's just public, but these people I happen to personally know, so I'm gonna go. And it's a bunch of Asian people. <laughs> I don't know, I never really get to turn up with Asians. So when I when the opportunity presents itself, I'm like, oh. It's so funny, cause when she first like asked me to go, she was like, it's the Asian mafia. I was like, Asian mafia? What the fuck? Okay, like, I was like, okay. The way Asian people party is like, they're gonna have food, they're gonna treat, like, they're gonna treat you, like, treat you good. And there happened to be, like, a Japanese person there, so that was kind of cool. I got to speak Japanese to them. But, um, yeah, they said there's gonna be food, and I was like, alright, bet, I'll be there. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna give me a plate, shit. <laughs> I'm gonna give me a plate to go. But if I can make a little bread on the side, then... You know, I'm gonna be happy, I'm gonna be happy. I'm not gonna do too much though. I mean, it's still early, so, um, hopefully I'm not out too late. Hopefully, 
because I do have work in the morning. Sucks. I do have work in the morning. I might call off on my birthday because perfect timing. I'm feeling under the weather, so I really might have to. <sighs> Everybody's also working today. Everybody make trying to make it extra bad. I will say though, everybody came out to the city and didn't nobody really have any bread. Like, was it really that worth it? Like I feel like it was overhyped. I don't know. How is it where you guys were at? Like, how was working Super Bowl weekend where y'all was at? Because for me, like, I just treated this like a, no, no, a normal weekend. So it wasn't nothing all that special for me. But let me know how y'all weekend went. Also, another thing about me is, like, I don't really care about what other people have going on. Like, I'm very happy for anybody that was going to be making money today or this weekend or whatever. I don't, I try not to get FOMO too much about, like, making money. And the reason being is that money can be made wherever and whenever. If you really put your mind to it, you know. Um, so... I'm not going to be mad. I'm, I'm not going to be upset about the fact that I am taking time to myself instead of being in a nasty ass club, you know? Being said, I'm very grateful. Money always comes. Like, you always attract money. So, look good, feel good. And yeah, I think since they're having it's like, it seems like it's a little event. So, I'm going to try to look presentable. All my clothes are like looking on the floor right now. So let me go ahead and try to find something acceptable to wear. <sighs> okay, I'm about to be on my way. I am gonna grab my little wellness shots. And you already know, my comfort water bottle. <clears throat> but yeah, um, we can go sort through this later. Literally, my money bag. Okay. <laughs> Got my camera batteries, cause I'm gonna vlog for y'all gum and then I have my black fit in here and a lip gloss and then we're ready to go got everything I got my keys all right let's go to this booking and let's go make a bag oh, baby face raise um producer tag says let's make a bag <laughs> I hate it when I lose my phone I'd be losing my phone and losing my mind but there's a fit Do I really want to go to work today? Do I really want to go to work today? Huh? I don't, but I want money. No, sit. It's too early to, for that. All right, so we're gonna cut off the bag from, this is from Friday. 
And I have a Gatorade because, yeah. So, it goes to your helping, I guess. Um, so I was fucking whack. I could have stayed the fuck home, honestly. Um, I don't know, I just feel like everybody came here for the Super Bowl, but came broke and ghetto. Like the amount of fights that I've seen this weekend, like y'all gotta, y'all gotta do better. Sorry, this is not presentable, but I'm really tired. Um, I need to count this up, bro. Yeah, I feel like this weekend was not really all that. People really, I'm glad I didn't work yesterday. I mean, I heard, I heard from the bartenders that it was good and the waitresses, but other than that, I heard for dancers, it wasn't great, so. And I was not feeling good yesterday. I didn't vlog yesterday because I was just not feeling good. to work which is already very crazy like getting two hundred dollars to work anywhere is insane okay even at a really big club like the biggest club out here was charging two hundred dollars to dance that's a lot granted those kinds of clubs can charge that much because their clientele is different so they'll probably make it back but other places why the fuck am i paying you two hundred dollars for what exactly like Literally, what am I paying for? Like, you don't have security. You're not gonna keep me safe. Like, what the fuck? So what they do is, well, what this guy did was he rented an Airbnb, like a big, nice Airbnb in the area, and had these girls prepay like a house fee. And then once the day of the actual Airbnb came, or the actual um, party came that people paid for, they're just like, oh, this Airbnb isn't booked any longer. Kick everybody, the Airbnb host kicks everybody out because they're like, y'all need to be out of here. Can you move? Bro. <laughs> but that's just crazy to me. Like, I feel very bad for anybody that had to go through that situation. It just seems like a whole lot of, a whole lot of bullshit. So that just really sucks. This is from um, Friday. But it was pretty good. It was only good because I was in a section and stuff, but honestly this whole weekend was just not great. Yeah, tell me how you guys, how your, um, how everybody else's weekend went because this was not it. And I was in the state with the Super Bowl in it, so I should tell you how this shit went. For some girls it was definitely worth it. I mean like, I'm very grateful. This is a lot for me not working that much. Like, this is a good amount of money. So, I'm not really, really tripping, but at the same time, it's just like, I feel like it just wasn't giving what it was supposed to give for our Super Bowl weekend. This week was eventful for sure. It feels like a, a long week. Like, this week was just long as shit. I'm glad the week is over, and I'm glad that Super Bowl is over. I'm glad that people will be going home. Because <laughs> I feel like there was just so much going on in the city that, I don't know, it was just too much. And I'm not somebody that goes out of my way to, like, I just don't be going out of my way too much. So, like, it's exhausting. So many people ask me, like, what's the move, what's the move? I don't know, I'm inside, sir. I really don't know. I don't know, no type of plays, no type of moves. Like, I don't do shit ever, so. But I'm sorry if I seem a little low energy. I'm really tired. I said this so many times, I'm, like, tired. But I wanna deliver some content. Some content. Yeah, tonight was bad in the club. Like, you know it's bad when people are sitting right at the stage. First of all, they're staring hard as fuck, like, it's giving Lil Dirk. Staring hard as fuck and then not tipping. One of these, like, one dollar. And you know what, pet peeve of mine is when they try to put the dollar in the, like your underwear strap, like, why is you doing all that? It's weird. So those guys were like sitting in the front staring, being weird. And 
and then um, security told them to move because y'all are not tipping. Y'all are not tipping or doing anything, so why the fuck are you like, you know? That was very annoying. What a big bill. I think I have. This was like $232. And then I have this stuff. But I'm gonna have to ask some other people how Saturday was because I'm hearing conflicting stories about how the money was and. Yeah. I need to know. I thought I also had another big bill in here, but it might be in my dad's bag. For me though, Friday was actually pretty good. Also y'all, my birthday is on Tuesday. Oh, but I'm not doing anything. I don't ever do anything for my birthday. And I know people think it's sad, but having your birthday on a holiday is just not it. It's just not it. So I was gonna go to dinner, but bro, everywhere around here is charging $200 prepaid. The fuck I was like paying $200 for a dinner I haven't even eaten. Like, y'all got me all the way fucked up. Wait, what? Sorry if this angle is not that great. I can't really see. Also, I feel like sometimes it's kind of hard for me to vlog because my life is not that interesting. Like, I don't really be having all that much to say sometimes. <laughs> I want to keep it a stop with y'all. Like, days like today, I'm very tired, exhausted. I was low-key sick yesterday. So I feel like I, I don't have really anything to say. And I'm kind of like, I'm, I want to say like I'm quiet in, in real life. But like... I don't know, it's not that I'm quiet, it's like, I just don't always have something to say. So. This is what we have in ones. And then we have 232 in here. Plus we have like some bigger bills. So that's what we're working with for we're Friday. And let me go grab the money from, um, from today. So that's Friday's bag. I'll put this all to the money counter in one sec. The ones. Y'all, my knees hurt today. <laughs> My knee bubble can hurt today. It's working. And then, uh, this was from the little private event that we did. I was there for like an hour. Um, so we have big bills. That. Um, this event was fun because it was Asian people. And uh, I done fixed me a plate. Y'all already know. If there's one thing about me, I'm gonna eat. And they were so nice. They were like, you guys want water or anything? Um, so that was at that little event. And then this was from the club. Weak as fuck, right? So fucking weak. But yeah, let's run this to the money counter real quick so I can go to sleep.
So here's what we're working with. Um, yeah, this video was not terrible, but also I just thought it would be more. So yeah, um, here's the money. Maybe this would be a good thumbnail because I don't feel like being no fucking photos right now. But yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this vlog for tonight. Sorry I'm like low energy. Um, I promise that content will be good. I have some pre-planned, like pre-record, not pre-recorded, but pre-scripted videos coming because I like doing those kinds of sit-down videos too. Um, so yeah, those are coming, so stay tuned. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope y'all tune in for the next one. And let's continue to make a bag, okay?